Well, good morning. And of course, it's a very special morning, isn't it? So I want to say to you, Happy Christmas. And perhaps to our Ukrainian friends, we want to say, I hope we got that right. <laughs> so Sophie's nodding her head, so that's a good sign. So it's great to see you all here today. And of course, it's a special day in, in which we have gathered as God's people to worship him and give him thanks for the birth of our Saviour. Just going to begin uh, with a reading from Luke chapter 2, which retells the events of that very first Christmas. Reading from Luke chapter 2 and verse 1. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Amen. Let's join together in prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we praise you for all we have to rejoice in on this Christmas day. We thank you for this Christmas season, the reminder year by year of your coming to us in Christ. And Lord, we ask that you would come to us now and help us to keep you at the centre of our celebrations today. Come to our loved ones, our families, our friends, all those we hold dear and whom we shall share with or think of over these coming days. Help us as we celebrate and take time to remember all that you've done for us in Christ. Come to those in special need today, the poor, the sick, the lonely and sad, the homeless, the helpless, the oppressed and persecuted, all those for whom life is hard and the future seems bleak. Lord, reach out to them in love and give them something to celebrate today. Loving God, may the light of Christ break into the lives of people all around the world today, bringing your joy, your peace, your hope and your love. A song of praise on their lips and celebration in their hearts. Come to them. Come to us. Come to all. And send us on our way, rejoicing in the gospel and praising you for the wonder of your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We begin our service with a piece entitled, O Come, All You Unfaithful. Now, if you were with us for our carl service, you'll remember this piece well. So just a few guidance notes as we begin. This piece will be led by the choir and then you folks will join in in the third verse. So let's praise God together as we sing.
So, a very important moment uh, during our Advent season is for one of the young people to come and light the Advent candle. So, I'm going to invite Emily Baird to come up now and join me at the front as we light the final candle. Hi, Emily. Come on up round beside me here. I'm just testing if it's working, you know, just to make sure that you have no problems because you get to light the one in the middle today because Advent's all about looking forward to what's coming and over the Advent season we've been looking forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus and today is his birthday so you get to light this candle in the middle okay you press that down hard now okay that's it well done, Emily. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you can go back into this now. Okay, well done. Brilliant. So one of my favorite moments in the church calendar is, of course, Christmas Day, but particularly on Christmas Day, whenever the boys and girls, whoa, that's definitely working, uh, bring some of the toys that they've received at Christmas. So boys and girls, if you have got something with you today that you'd like to, everyone else to see, this is your moment. Come up to the front. Uh, if you've brought toys or something you've received at Christmas, come on up to the front here. Fantastic. So come on up here where everybody can see you. Right. Okay. This is great. This is good. And there's more coming. Come on, on up. Can I grab this mic, John? Can I? Okay, so, wow, look at this. This is fantastic. So, you coming up, T? Brilliant. Wow. So, whenever, whenever I was your age or maybe even a bit younger, I, I got the sort of present I got at Christmas. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Almost a Mr. Bean moment there. Okay, thank you for <laughs> to wear a flammable jacket from now on. Or inflammable? What's I doing? Uh, <laughs> so, um, yes, whenever I was about your age, I'm going to come around to the side here because I don't like stabbing my back to everybody. So, whenever I was about your age, I would have got really unusual presents because back then there wasn't uh, computers and iPads and electronic devices. Everything was mechanical. Like my, the first Christmas present I remember getting was a tin robot and you wind it up with a key. It was clockwork. That shows you how old I am. Yeah, but I remember how excited I was to get that particular present until the robot walked off the end of the table and fell onto the floor. So anyway, I managed to get over that and there were other presents to enjoy. So let me, tell me about some of the presents you've, what have you brought today? Some football cards. Can I hold those up? I'll take a few. Okay. So some football cards. And yes, we had these back in my day as well. So that's still a trend. Brilliant. Any of you any favourite cards, do you? <coughs> you just like all of them, do you? Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. And this is a lovely outfit here. Now I wonder who this could be. Could this be out of um, a movie? Anyone guess what movie this out outfit would be? Do you know the name of the person you're dressed up as today? Sophia. Sophia. Isn't that beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. And you're going to wear that all day, are you? Brilliant. Okay. So what have we got here? An elf and a panda. An elf and a panda. Wow. And are they friends, are they? Yes. Yeah, because I think they're giving each other hugs there. So that's a good sign, isn't it? Brilliant. Okay. And what have you got with you today? A Barbie wheelchair. Can you hold it up so we can see it? Isn't that fantastic, isn't it? Wow. And Barbie's been around for a long time as well. Brilliant. So I think, I was going to say we've got a football team here, but we've actually got the first two members of this football team. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's big rivals for the team I support, so I'm not saying more other than they play in red as well. So you're wearing a football outfit today. Can you tell me what team this is? Liverpool. Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> There's an even mix there of boos and, and claps, so uh, 
And this, of course, is the same outfit, isn't it? Yeah, I got the FIFA World Cup ball. The FIFA World Cup ball. Isn't that fun? Hold it up so everybody can see it. Wow, isn't that great? That's, that, there's been a lot of football played with that over the past month, hasn't there? Yes. And are you just going to be trying out the, the football today at some point? Yeah, I tried it out today. Did you? And how did it go? Good. And do you do the keepy uppies, do you? Do you know how many you can do? My highest score was 10. 10? Whoa, fantastic. <laughs> well, maybe by next Christmas it'll be 100. Who knows? Okay, and anyway, enjoy the football. So what have you brought today? A tractor. A tractor. Let me see this tractor. So this is a fast track. Now I've heard of Massey, Massey Ferguson and John Deere uh, and Leyland, but I've never heard of a fast track. JCB fast track. And is it fast, do you think? Yeah. Are you going to have good fun playing with that today? Brilliant. Okay. On across here to see what else we've got. What have you got, Emily? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to help you. You've got something on your head here. What's this? Elves. Two elves? Yeah, okay. And um, what have you got in your hand here? Because that looks unusual, so it does. Do you know what it's called, do you? I haven't seen this before. It's like a little pouch full of little balls. Do you know what it is? No, so this is a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to Google this later, so we will. Anyway, thanks for bringing it in, and thanks again for lighting the candle. Um, you have brought someone with you today, haven't you? Who have you got here? i got a doll. You've got a doll, and has the doll got a name? Uh, Thinking about it? Uh, I'll name it Poppy. Poppy? Yeah. Oh, isn't Poppy lovely? Can we hold, we'll hold Poppy up so everybody can see? Isn't Poppy lovely, isn't she? And I think you like Poppy, don't you? Yeah. And you're going to look after her? Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Thank you all for bringing a few of your presents in today. And you can go back down to your seats now. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. They've done really well. <laughs> it's great that we, we give and receive gifts on Christmas Day, you know, but it's also... Uh, a time whenever we remember others. And later on in their service, there'll be an opportunity to give uh, towards helping people in other parts of the world who maybe just don't have the things we have. So anyway, thank you boys and girls for sharing with us some of the things that you've received. And I'm sure we've all given and received lovely gifts today that we will enjoy. Uh, but at this point in the service, um, I'm going to invite the Sunday school teachers and the boys and girls of the Sunday school who are going to come and sing glory to God.
Just great, and um, of course uh, we heard that um, at our Christmas carol service, and I liked it so much I requested it again, and I'm glad I did, and we got more of us got to hear it today. So in a moment uh, your offering will be received. I just want to say a wee bit about this year's World Development Appeal, which is called Rekindling Hope. Now some of you will have seen the leaflets, and some of you maybe come today and didn't realise that we were going to present an offering for this work. So there are little envelopes still available and donations will be received even next Sunday. There's two aspects to this year's programme. The first is regards work going on in Lebanon and I'm sure you know that Lebanon is a country that's undergoing political, economic and social difficulties which have worsened by the effects of COVID-19 and the 2020 explosion in Beirut port. The World Food Programme lists Lebanon as one of its 20 hungry hotspots, with heightened levels of displacement seen as a crisis within a crisis. This year's feature project is managed by Tear Fund Partner, the Lebanese Society for Educational and Social Development, LSESD. LSESD works with Tahadi, a Lebanese NGO, in an informal settlement in southern Beirut. And your support for this year's World Development Appeal will help to resource Tahadi as the centre continues to rebuild and restore lives previously torn apart by conflict, crisis and COVID, changing stories of flight to stories of flourishing. The second aspect of this year's appeal uh, is with regards to what's happening in, the, in South Sudan, where one in three people are internally displaced due to widespread conflict. So this year's appeal will also support a project in South Sudan through Christian Aid's partner, the South Sudan Council of Churches. So your offering will now be received for this work and the work of the church. Let us pray. Loving Father, as we come to, to you today with our offering, we ask that you would take what we've given and use it for the blessing of others. And today we think particularly of the people of Lebanon and South Sudan. And Lord, you know everything that they have been through these past years. And so we pray that this money will go towards the agencies where it will be best used and will bring light into the darkness. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to give to the good work that is going on in these far off places. And we pray that many will be helped and blessed through our gifts today. Amen. I'm going to invite the choir now to come and sing for us the first Noel.
Well, this Advent season, we've had the opportunity to prepare ourselves to celebrate Jesus' birth. And over the last few weeks, we have heard, along with the children, that God is so amazing that in the beginning, he made the stars and put them in the sky to light up the whole world and indeed the whole universe. We heard about the wise men who heard and believed that Jesus was born, believed that he was to be born. And so they followed one of the stars that God had put in the sky. They followed the star until they found Jesus and worshipped him. And we can be like those wise men today if we follow their example. And last week we heard that Jesus came as a gift from God to help us deal with the wrong stuff in our lives and offer us something better than what we have. Today we've seen and heard of some of the gifts that the children have received at Christmas. And talking of gifts, there is a special gift under the tree today that Gillian's going to come and tell us about. (laughs) 
Well, good morning. good morning. Happy Christmas. So I hear that there's a gift under the tree. And there it is. Let's have a wee look and see what we've got here. Oh, wow. Isn't it beautiful? It's so neatly wrapped, isn't it? Yes, well done. And it's got a beautiful bow on it as well. It's just lovely. And actually, yeah, there's something inside it. It's fabulous. It couldn't be any nicer. And it's actually quite big. I could flex my wrapping Christmas presents here, but this is really good. I really love it. Yeah. And you know, whenever it's sitting under the tree, it just looks fabulous. It's lovely, isn't it? Nice present. Yeah, great. Good present. Jillian, Jillian, sorry. Aren't you going to open it? I mean, a gift is nothing if it's just left there. It's just as good as a Christmas decoration if you don't open it. Oh. Do you want her to open it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> the right answer. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Well, true. I suppose if you get a gift, it's really a bit silly just to leave it under the tree, isn't it? You know, boys, girls, and adults, Today is the day that we've been waiting for to celebrate God's gift to us. And he doesn't want us just to hear about it and to admire it. He actually wants us to unwrap it. Because honestly, his gift, Jesus, is the very best gift that we could ever get. Jesus doesn't fade and he doesn't break like other gifts that we get. And he's not just for Christmas. Jesus came to offer us life, new life that lasts, not just for today, not just for tomorrow, but forever, for every day. You know, we were given a little book this year in the months for Christmas, and it reminds us that Jesus is for our every day. And we pray, and we hope that you will pray along with us, that as we, like the wise men, hear, believe, find and worship Jesus, that whatever age or stage you're at in life, that whatever circumstances you are facing now, or will have to face in the future, that you will know that he is there for you. That he is there for your every day. We hope that you will, give, you will pray that God's light will be in your darkest, deepest darkness. His peace will be in your face of storm. His love that never gives up will be yours. His rest that will restore your soul and that his hope will bring new purpose to your life. This gift that was under the tree this morning, it's for you. It's a little star and we hope that you will put this little star on your tree whenever you go home today. That you will be reminded that Jesus is for your every day and whenever you pack your Christmas tree away, whenever that will be. Don't pack this with your decorations. Put this somewhere that you will see it so that every day this year you will remember that Jesus is for you no matter what the circumstances. Because Jesus isn't just for Christmas. Let's pray about that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this special time of the year when we can give and receive gifts. But exciting as those gifts might be, they won't last forever. So at this Christmas time, may we be ready to, to receive the greatest gift of all, your son, Jesus. He was born on that first Christmas morning. Born that men, women, boys and girls, no more may die. Born to raise the sons and daughters of earth. Born to give us second birth. May all who hear of the good news of, Saviour, of the Saviour's birth today believe and receive his offer of forgiveness and eternal salvation. 
and be led to worship him not just on Christmas Day, but every day. And to any who sense that the Saviour is calling them to follow him today, may the Lord bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. We're going to bring our service to a close as we stand to sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And while we're singing, Jill will be giving out that little Christmas gift to each of you. Time has gone and Jillian and I will be heading up the road to Drumacos very shortly. So unfortunately we won't be able to go to the door to greet you. But just on behalf of the Kirk Session and Committee to wish you all a very happy Christmas and a blessed new year. We're going to close with a special Christmas benediction. Let us pray. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.